So obviously the Olympics, like we said, were meant to be done in 2020. Uh, now they've been pushed forward to 20 or pushed back, sorry, to 2021. Uh, in the winter season, the indoor season, beginning of 2020, I jumped the Olympic qualifying standard at 233. Um, obviously at the time, um, that was a really good mark. Uh, indoors, it put me equal number one in the world. And in terms of consistency and jumping, um, you know, if we were to average out what people were jumping, I was the number one jumper indoors last year. Obviously, we go into lockdown, and I'd say that was that was a really big struggle. I think when they put back the Olympics, and you kind of hear, "Oh, you've got you've got to do it for another year." Without, um, so obviously, I've been training for multiple years with the goal of going to the Olympics. It kind of felt like, "Oh, you've got to do this again. You've got to wait a little bit longer to get that reward which you've been working for." Later in the year, I developed so i in, in my knee i had a tendinopathy and what tendinopathy is is where you train too much and your tendons don't have the opportunity to properly heal and properly get to that good state of being healthy completely so you get loads of little tears in the tendon and they can be quite uncomfortable those tears developed into you know a complete tear of the tendon, not like a complete tear but you know there was a, a 13 millimeter tear in my tendon and then i had to go have this operation so the context i added there is I've gone from literally being like the best jumper in the world at the time. Now I can't even walk. I can't even get out of bed without the assistance of my crutches. As much as it was frustrating, it was also actually somewhat a relief. Because one thing they never tell you about athletics is when you get into it, you are an athlete all the time. You only get to train two to four hours a day but that gives you 20 hours of the day, you can still mess it up. You know, you work half or two hours, but you've got to do 20 hours of eating right, sleeping right, yeah. uh, getting the recovery in. That you, you, you're you never fortunate to get an injury, but they kind of come with the territory. So to get it when I did, with the circumstances I had, it was great because it meant, you know, I'm not, I'm not missing any competitions, really. It wasn't an operation you had to have, was it? Yeah, so my situation was I got the tear and um it it hurt, but because it was my it was on my non jump leg, um it was bearable, it was manageable, I could still jump with it. So for me it was a case of there were three options. I could do nothing, I could get an injection, and the problem with the injection is you don't know for three months or so if it's worked, and that would just leave me three months down the line where it may not have worked and then I have to get the operation anyway. So my decision eventually was we can have the operation and that has like a 70% chance of working. That sounds much more preferable than the 50-50 coin flip, which was the injection. It was as soon as a consultant said to me, those are my options and explained to me the chances of things working. I remember I had to go to London for this. I literally walked out of his office, had a phone call with my coach and I was like, I'm probably going to have the operation. But in my mind, I was I was going to have the operation. How do, you, how do you feel the operation went though? How do you feel now having had that and obviously being a few months down the line training's going really well so i'm a lot i'm, I'm this probably the past week or so it's finally turned it's finally the tendon starting to get really healthy start running again start uh starting to jump again soon so um yeah we're heading in the right direction and training i feel stronger than i've ever felt before because that's, that's like all i've been doing since probably september october and um yeah, hopefully start to be on the 31st. And what's the day today? It's the 9th. Well, it's been lovely talking to you, Tom. You've got big aspirations ahead of you. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much.